We pledge allegiance to the flag every day. What if we pledged to lift each other up in the very same way? No longer passing the buck to someone else, but becoming that someone else ourselves. Helping those in need who need it the most. And no, this is not a telethon. I'm not going to sing like Jerry Lewis. But this is a marathon. And we've come here to figure out ways in which to not drop the baton. We drop everything in reverence. What if we took that same preference, applied it, magnified it, so that the whole world could see that you, and you, and you, and you, and you, and even the you in rural Nutbush, Tennessee, could see that we, although we're not rolling on a river, but even if you live near one, psh, I mean, like, we would still come. Because we care. We care. Let's stop discarding our seasoned individuals. Their sacrifices are the reason that we can eat and thrive in this gumbo called America. They are the lifeline, and if we cut the cord on them, we cut it on ourselves and don't even realize it. Let's link relevant data with evidence-based strategies, marry them together to help give access and technology to those who need it the most. Somebody pull out your cell phone. Call up coordinating healthcare. Get on the other line and call up social outreach. Let's get them on a three-way call with action because we all know that teamwork makes the what? Some people are with me, right? But 68% of Americans have at least one unmet social need. So as we proceed to make that number smaller and love last longer, we've got to build these bridges so that all people feel stronger. Now look, everybody's not able, <clears throat> find my light, uh, to be as clean and look as good dressed up as Joe. <laughs> so what do we do? Let's take a page from the silver sneakers, right? I mean, Mr. Cox said on a video just yesterday, if you want to improve, you got to do what? You got to move. So let's just walk it out. In times when you're feeling bad, doesn't even matter. Just walk it out. On the line with policyholders who aren't getting back to you, doesn't matter. Just walk it out. Grandkids getting on your nerves, who cares? Just walk it out. Break into your own little groups. Get your walking stick, find your tribe, then find your stride and walk it out. And sometimes, sometimes those joints, whew, sometimes those joints don't do like they used to. You know, sometimes they don't react how they used to react. But it doesn't even matter. You just got to stretch it out. Then you got to do what? You got to walk it out. Because even in the midst of problems and struggles in our lives, we got to keep pushing forward. We got to keep on walking it out. In the midst of our lives, when things don't go how we would like for them to go, we just got to keep on moving forward and walking it out. This table's been set. And guess who's coming to dinner? Diversity is bringing corn pudding. Mm -hmm. Collaboration's on its way with the collard greens. This is the power of action, forming our own Voltron, coming together to create based strategies that will help us combat sadness, isolation, and loneliness. We saw people who got community Connectivity Awards walking on this very stage because they are in their communities doing the work, and it works. So let's do our part to be more accountable, to listen. These voices of these individuals, there's wisdom in their words. And though data really does matter, they are living Breathing testimonies whose stories matter, whose stories deserve to be heard. 
The best way to make people feel like human beings is to humanize their well-being. Let us do our part to connect the dots between determination and healthier aging. If you will, close your eyes for one moment. And I want you to think about your grandmother or a figure in your life who was like a grandmother for you. Think about your favorite moment with that woman. And I don't want you to just think about it. I want you to put yourself there right now. What do you see? Can you smell her perfume? Can you hear her voice? the warmth of her breath against your skin? Can you smell her apple pie? Is she giving you a life story? Keep that same energy, and I want you to think about your grandfather and your favorite memory of your grandfather. Is he sitting in his favorite chair? tattered Braves hat on his head, watching the game against the Chicago Cubs. Do you hear his hand diving deep into his pocket, clanging against quarters, nickels, and dimes, which are soon to be yours as you wait on his embrace? Now open your eyes and imagine your grandparent lonely, isolated, away from family, or sad. How does that make you feel? Now take that feeling and bottle it up so the next time you feel like giving up, you use that as motivation to level up. Because there's going to be times on this journey where you're going to continue to hit that wall and you may just want to give up on it all. But I want you to remember that memory when you are walking in this journey because it takes change agents in order for things to change. This momentum is monumentous. You are change agents disruptors of systems. And now that you see everything clearly in 4K HD, you really can't go back to watching stuff and stand to death. I mean, that's just how it works, right? You, you, you feel me, right? You can't go back. Just means you can't leave here the same way that you came. Because change happens with people. And you're the people. You are the catalyst to take this to the next level. So I pledge allegiance to better health for everyone and for all, so that when we connect at this summit, we make sure that no one falls. And on one accord, we continue to move forward, pushing the needle with action so that all people feel equal. Now walk it out. Thank you.